Riley Rose and Seamus Kesha, this is me. Yeah, we're going to catch up with Stephen right now for In Case You Missed It. Stephen, good morning. You there? Good morning, guys. Good morning. Now, I'm so excited of what TV show you're talking about today because I freaking love this TV show. <laughs> <laughs> like we're not in German. <clears throat> so what's it called? <laughs> yeah, so this one is called Younger. Yeah. Um, okay. so you can find this one on Stan, actually. Um, it's premiered in 2015, so... Um, it's been around for a few years, and they just wrapped up season four and are starting season five. Uh, so this one's about a woman who uh, was originally a publisher, and she quit the industry because she got married, had a baby, husband divorced her after some gambling problems, and she's got to try to get back into the industry, but uh, it's finding it difficult being a woman in her 40s with a child. Yeah. Uh, so she ends up pretending she's 26 after meeting a guy at a night out who mistakes <laughs> her for that age. Yeah, um, And she's living life as a 26-year-old, but trying to balance her 40-year-old life in the outer suburbs of New York, but her 26-year-old life living in Brooklyn. That sounds like so much fun. So the actress, who is it? Can she pull off a younger version of herself? Uh, surprisingly, she can. So you, okay. you kind of watch this at the start, and she's uh, her name's Liza. She's played by Sutton Foster, who um, is a big Broadway star. Yeah. Um, but through the season, you kind of start to believe she's actually um, yeah. 26, which is, which is pretty awesome. It Jeez, is I true, yeah. So you can't. She's got one of those like kind of looks where you you say, you kind of like, oh yeah, she could be twenty six, or yeah, she could be forty one. You know. So she's and and what I love about this show, Stephen, is that Hillary Duff is in it. Hillary, who, who does not love Hillary Duff? Like <laughs> this is her. This is her little comeback after her uh, Lizzie McGuire days. She's oh, yeah. in it as well. She's so good in it too. She's bloody fierce. That actually, it's actually a really good television show to talk about. You know, having International Women's Day last mm. week because the the women on that show are such good examples of, you know, how we should be living as uh, girls with careers and balancing life and romance. It's really good. And definitely, you see, um, Liza's boss, who's this big marketing manager for the publishing firm Empirical. Um, and she has her issues where she's so successful, so amazing at what she does, but she's also a bit um, bolshy and a strong woman that she's struggling to find love and to balance her life um, as a you know a big successful woman, but then to have a, a partner and a family. Yeah, because she's lonely as well. Yeah, definitely. So hey, good, so everyone. Go watch it. <laughs> news just broke about Honey Badger confirmed he's going to be the next Bachelor here in Australia. Mate, thoughts? What yeah. are you thinking? Um. Hideous. I'm not a fan. Hideous. Hideous. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why, what's wrong with him? Look at his rig, man. Yeah, that's a tick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but he just kind of, I don't know, he just doesn't fit that, um, the Bachelor kind of look. Maybe it's a it's a good move away from it. Um, but there's already been a bit of an uproar with um, people questioning why another celebrity is on board. Is yeah. this how it's always going to be? Will yeah. the everyday person get to do it? Well, surely, um, like, this is now, the, it's starting to wrap up. They're starting to pull things out of their hat. Like, what else are we going to do? Let's have celebrities. Yeah, yeah, like, what else are they going to get along? Maybe they might get someone a little more, um, you know, I know someone from the US. Um, oh, yeah. But they're, they're thinking his Aussie slang might actually be a challenge. He likes to use a few... <laughs> Um, colloquialisms, you know, use a bit of he's Aussie twang as well. Um, yeah. I think the people might find that a bit difficult to understand. I think though, it's a little bit. It feels a little bit different now. Instead of people going applying to find for genuine love, they're applying to hook up with the honey badger. Yeah, definitely. And also, you. I think the premise was originally to apply to not know the person and to meet yeah. them and then fall yeah. in love. Whereas people will go on because they like the honey badger or they know that he's successful already. So You're gonna get Very it's going to be a mixed one. Yeah, it is going to be a mixed one. All right, Stephen, we'll, we'll catch up with you next week. Yes, yeah, see you then. Awesome. Thanks, mate. I could have talked about Younger all day, just saying. It sounds like a cool show. <laughs> it's a great show. Gwen Stefani, it's Riley Rose and Seamus, you were on hit.